This is the story of 20 hours of film footage blazing with color shot in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in early 1946 by the U.S. military that would change the lives of many people, including two American soldiers and me. The film was hidden by U.S. officials for decades, and almost no one could see it. While it was suppressed, the atomic bombings of Japan nearly fell into a hole in human history, making a costly and dangerous nuclear arms race inevitable. For decades, all that most Americans saw of Hiroshima and Nagasaki were the same repeated black and white images. A mushroom cloud, a battered building topped with the skeleton of a dome, or a panorama of emptiness, all devoid of people, none in color. At the same time, graphic color footage shot by a U.S. Army team led by First Lieutenant Daniel McGovern along with Second Lieutenant Herbert Susan existed, but was suppressed by the U.S. for decades. Despite the efforts by the two men to make a film using the footage and get it shown to the world, the cover-up was complete. Hours of unseen footage shot for the U.S. military by a famous cameraman provided a unique, disturbing, and up-close tour of the ruins of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in vivid color. But the main reason it was suppressed for decades was this. It was the only color footage to show the bomb's effects on people, mainly women and children, and not just buildings. Yet Americans were not allowed to view any of it. My new book, Atomic Cover-Up, based on interviews, declassified documents, and my own trip to Hiroshima and Nagasaki, explores one of the last untold stories of World War II and why it matters today. <laughs>